Meghan Markle stunned fans around the world when she gave her first royal interview in 2017, well before her engagement to Prince Harry, but the prince and his press team backed the unprecedented move, according to a royal author. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to bring their new royal baby Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor to Balmoral to spend time with the Queen and the rest of the royal family this month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed little Archie in May, just under a year after their stunning royal wedding. The royal pair first met in 2016, and by 2017 had been photographed together for the first time when they attended the Invitus Games in Toronto. That year also brought another first, as Meghan broke all royal precedents by giving an astonishing interview. Biographer Andrew Morton, in his 2018 book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, delves into the time that she gave her first interview about her royal romance to Vanity Fair's Sam Koshner that summer. Mr. Morton writes, from the moment he arrived at her front door, bookies no longer needed to take bets on a royal marriage. Traditionally royal brides-to-be are sphinx-like, blushing furiously, ducking away from photographers, smiling politely but not saying a word. It is the uniting thread that links Lady Diana Spencer, Sarah Ferguson, Sophie Rhys Jones, and Catherine Middleton. They know the consequences. In the days when Diana's sister Sarah was dating Prince Charles, she was cast into the outer darkness the moment she chatted to a royal correspondent about her relationship. For Meghan to be giving an interview before any engagement announcement was a royal first, all the more so as she would not have gone ahead without the agreement of Prince Harry, his private secretary and their communications director. Nor was she making anodyne remarks about fashion and suits with the odd aside about her royal romance. No, Meghan was telling her true story, in her own words. She was emphatic, no dithering around the issue. Meghan said, we're a couple. We're in love. I'm sure that there will be a time when we will have to come forward and present ourselves and have stories to tell, but I hope what people will understand is that this is our time. This is for us. Mr. Morton continues, there was one troubling sentence amid the startlingly open declaration of love and commitment. Meghan told Vanity Fair, I'm still the same person that I am and I've never defined myself by my relationship. Mr. Morton comments, perhaps not in the past, but certainly in her future. Whether or not she wanted to embrace the idea, in the future her considerable influence, her ability to make the change, will rest on something that goes against her core beliefs, namely women gaining power not through their own endeavors, but because of whom they marry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex went on to announce their engagement in October 2017. Prince William reportedly faced the anger of Prince Harry, when he asked his younger brother if he was sure about his commitment to Meghan and the speed at which the relationship had developed. Royal commentator Angela Mollard, speaking on podcast Royals, said, I think he was concerned Harry hadn't known Meghan for very long, and that they were marrying. We don't actually know what went on between the two brothers, but it would not be unreasonable for an older brother to question a younger brother. I think William probably did question the nature of the relationship and that may have got Harry's back up. We do know that some of his friends also questioned the relationship and the speed of it. 